Acenapine, Cycrest, is an atypical antipsychotic developed for the treatment of schizophrenia and acute mania associated with bipolar disorder by sharing Plow after its November 19, 2007 merger with Organon International. Development of the drug, through Phase three trials, began while Organon was still a part of Actso Nobel. Preliminary data indicate that it has minimal anticholinergic and cardiovascular side effects, as well as minimal weight gain. Over 3,000 patients have participated in clinical trials of acenapine, and the FDA approved the manufacturer's NDA in August 2009. It was chemically derived via altering the chemical structure of the tetracyclic antidepressant, meonserin. Medical uses Acenapine has been approved by the FDA for the acute treatment of adults with schizophrenia and acute treatment of manic or mixed episodes associated with bipolar eye disorder with or without psychotic features in adults. In Australia acenapine's approved indications include the following, schizophrenia, treatment, for up to six months, of an episode of acute mania or mixed episodes associated with bipolar eye disorder, maintenance treatment, as monotherapy of bipolar eye disorder, in the European Union and the UK acenapine is only licensed for use as a treatment for acute mania in bipolar eye disorder. Absorbed readily if administered sublingually, acenapine is poorly absorbed when swallowed. It appears to be less efficacious than other antipsychotics in the treatment of schizophrenia, although its all-cause discontinuation rate is moderate. As for its efficacy in the treatment of acute mania, a recent meta-analysis showed that it produces comparatively small improvements in manic symptoms in patients with acute mania and mixed episodes than most other antipsychotic drugs such as risperidone and olanzapine. Dropout rates were also unusually high with acenapine. According to a post-hoc analysis of two three-week clinical trials it may possess some antidepressant effects in patients with acute mania or mixed episodes. Adverse effects, adverse effect incidence note. The discussion below these lists provides some more context into the frequency and severity of these adverse effects. Very common adverse effects include, somnolence, common adverse effects include, weight gain, increased appetite, extrapyramidal side effects, sedation, dizziness, dyskusia, oral hypoesthesia, increased alanine aminotransferase, fatigue, uncommon adverse effects include, hyperglycemia and euro-elevated blood glucose, syncope, seizure, dysothria, sinus bradycardia, bundle branch block, QTC interval prolongation, sinus tachycardia, orthostatic hypertension, hypertension, swollen tongue, dysphagia, glossodynia, oral paresthesia. Rare adverse effects include, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, tardive dyskinesia, speech disturbance, rhabdomyolysis, angioedema, blood dyscrasia such as agranulocytosis, leukopenia and neutropenia, accommodation disorder, pulmonary embolism, gynecomastia, galactria, unknown incidence adverse effects, allergic reaction, restless leg syndrome, nausea, oral mucosal lesions, salivary hypersecretion, hyperprolactinemia. Acenapine seems to have a relatively low weight gain liability for an atypical antipsychotic and according to a recent meta-analysis it produces significantly less weight gain than, paliperidone, risperidone, quetiapine, certindol, chlorpromazine, eloperidone, clozapine, zotapine and olanzapine and approximately as much as weight gain as aripiprazole, laragijone, amisulpride, haloperidol and ziprazijone. Its potential for elevating plasma prolactin levels seems relatively limited to according to this meta-analysis. This meta-analysis also found that acenapine has approximately the same odds ratio for causing sedation, compared to placebo-treated patients as olanzapine and haloperidol and a higher odds ratio for sedation than aripiprazole, paliperidone and amisulpride to name a few and is hence a mild moderately sedating antipsychotic. Being a second-generation antipsychotic its liability for causing extrapyramidal side effect is comparatively low compared to first-generation antipsychotics such as haloperidol as is supported by the aforementioned meta-analysis. Pharmacology, acenapine shows high affinity for numerous receptors, including the serotonin 5-HT1A, 5-HT1B, 5-HT2A, 5-HT2B, 5-HT2C, 5-HT5A, 
5-HT6, and 5-HT7 receptors, the adrenergic I plus or minus 1, I plus or minus 2A, I plus or minus 2B, and I plus or minus 2C receptors, the dopamine D1, D2, D3, and D4 receptors, and the histamine H1 and H2 receptors. It has much lower affinity PKI. 